Hello everyone, so in previous video we have understand about the AWS Kinesis. In this particular video we are going to do a practical. So first let us recap. So when we actually we use AWS Kinesis, whenever you have to deal with the real time data, whenever you want to process a real time data, then we generally go for the AWS Kinesis. We have a three services in AWS. One is the AWS Kinesis data stream. So this generally we use for the real time data. So if anyone is generating any event and on that time only if you want to process that data then we, you will go for the data streaming. The second one is the Amazon data firehose. So this is not a real time it is a near real time. But this generally we also use for the storing into the S3, Redshift and all also. So data stream generally we use for the real time data processing. Amazon data firehose we use for the near real time data processing and also storing into the final destination and the third one is the Apache Flink which we generally use for the data analytics perspective. So what actually we are going to do in this particular practical we are going to use a Kinesis Firehose. So AWS provide one AWS sample data streaming so that actually we are going to use with the help of that actually we will try to create a data streaming data and we will try to store into the Amazon S3. So that is the practical we are going to do. So I will click on the Amazon Firehose, Data Firehose. Click on the Create Firehose Streaming. What is your source? So source, you can see Kinesis Data Stream. There can be a multiple pipeline which you can develop. Like the data is coming through a Kinesis uh, Data Stream and then it is coming to the Data Firehose and then it is storing into the S3. So in that case you will use Amazon Kinesis data stream but as of now we are going to do a practical and based on the direct put which AWS provide the testing uh, data streaming so for that we are going to use a direct put. So I will select that. What is your destination? Destination is S3. We want to store into the S3. So I will select that. You can see the streaming name it is giving by default this but you can give your name also any name you can give here now second is the transformation if you want to perform any kind of the cleaning activity that also you can do with the help of the AWS Lambda but as of now we are not going to do that so I am not selecting this transformation and all and the destination setting where actually you want to store your data so for that I want to store into this particular bucket so I will select that so in this particular bucket my streaming data will save and after that partition if you want to have a dynamic partition that actually you can enable it but uh, it will charge extra cost so we are not going to do that and uh, after that you can see the prefix time zone and all so we will go by default with that and advanced setting you can see uh, it will create one IAM role with the basic property so we are good with this. So I'll just click on the Firehouse stream. So you can see this is the particular Firehouse stream which got created. Status is creating. Destination we are going to store into the Amazon S3. Data transformation we haven't enabled. So that's why not enabled it is showing. And uh, dynamic partition also we haven't enabled. And the source is the direct port. So if in the case of the Kinesis data stream the source will be the direct port. Now in the bottom you can see you can monitor whatever the data is getting streamed. Now you can see test with the demo data. So the AWS provide to test your uh, streaming. So this is the data the Tika symbol and uh, this is kind of the JSON data. So whenever I will start start sending demo data. So this particular data will get saved into the Amazon S3 bucket so that uh, this particular data only we are going to use so I'll click on the start sending demo data so it is now going to store into the data firehose but it will take time because we are using a data firehose so it will there will be some lag in storing a data in the case of the Kinesis data stream real time data uh, we use but in the case of the data firehose for processing it takes time so let's wait for that but in the bottom you can monitor all the things like what is the incoming bytes how many counts how many incoming records is coming so let's wait for a couple of time a uh, couple of minute 
and after that you will see when when you will go to the this particular bucket right when you will refresh you will see the data start coming now you now also you can see the data started coming now if i'll click here so it is coming like a in the folder structure you can see one data came if i'll open this if i'll click this and if i'll cl click on the download let me save this let me open this so this is the particular one which i have downloaded now 838 one let me show you notepad you can see change price sticker symbol like that the data is coming if you will wait for a couple of more time you will see more data will be available here so if you will start refreshing uh, the data stream is continuously flowing but there will be some lag okay so let's wait for that couple of time so you can see the uh, data is keep on sending so ticker symbol sector change and price we saw right and this kind of the data is continuously going there uh, so when you will do a practical please uh, make sure like uh, you, uh, once you complete this practical uh, please delete all the firehose stream otherwise you may get charge so that is the practice so once you complete this practical stop sending demo data you have to do and click on the delete firehose stream and also if possible delete the s3 bucket also so that's why we want to avoid all the kinds of the cost which if any aws is charging because this all the heavy services so you may get charged okay so that's why we are not uh, uh, doing that so that is the best practice so once you complete the practical delete all the service so if aws is charging so that will be a very minimum okay yeah that's it in this video thanks for joining